What's up and welcome back to another episode of The First Call Out. My name is Billy Garning and thank you for checking in. Yes, from the headline, that's maybe the reason why you're actually checking in or it's because I actually paid for advertising. <laughs> the reason is, is because the Amateur Olympia has released a crazy, crazy statement. Um, but we're gonna get to that last. So, if you're here, the first call out is going to be a vlog based on the IFBB and its pros and now its amateur leagues and just not mainly on its amateur league, but mainly on the pro league and its athletes in it. But since there's been no pro shows worth talking about outside of the Arnold Australia that just happened last week or a week and a half ago, and how Brandon Curry won that show, but nobody's talking about it because everybody wants to talk about Dallas McCarver and fainting off stage and everybody talking about how Sean Ray gave him shit and then Dallas is giving him shit and then everybody's just giving shit and then one publications involved and other publications involved and another publication piped down so it's just this whole like fucking free fall bitch for all but I understand it on everybody's side everybody has to get a point across and too many people are getting pissed and it's a subjective sport and you have to get pissed at some point but you don't have to take it personal big news that came from this dude again of course Dallas McCarver. Dallas McCarver has just released. Uh, if you don't know who Dallas McCarver is, Dallas McCarver is an IFBB pro bodybuilder. He's the youngest on the circuit. He's 25 years of age. Uh, his nickname is called uh, Big Country. And at being 25 years of age, he has already been sponsored by BSN. He now is sponsored by Redcon 1. I don't know if he owns or co-owns Redcon 1. He's also a muscular development uh, athlete until two days ago. What happened was is that uh, Dallas McCarver was having a serious argument with another past bodybuilder, a very iconic bodybuilder called Sean Ray, um, who is also sponsored and represents muscular development uh, and is a reporter or is a vlog holder or interviewer for that uh, publication. Uh, said a few things about Dallas and now, um, after all that rigmarole, Dallas asked muscular development to drop him. Uh, they didn't drop him. So in the grand scheme of things, I think Dallas McCarver decided it was better off for him to leave muscular development than create any more confusion between the two of them being associated with the brand. Um, I don't know if there's any more depth into it as I've watched the interview Dallas had with Dave Palumbo. Dave Palumbo. On uh, his channel, his channel RX Muscle, Dave Palumbo. Check that out if you want to find out what more exactly or exactly Dallas's views and it. Um, but that was that. Outside of that, now we're going to get into the actual reason. Uh, I hope you're here, uh, and that is the Joe Waiters Amateur. Jesus, I'm nearly not me fucking reflex bar over. And that is Joe Waiters Amateur Olympia. If you're an amateur competitor in the Olympia stages, which by the way is where Ryan Terry started out two, three years ago in Barcelona, was it? And he won it, and now he's probably gonna win in IMO, in my opinion. He's gonna win the Olympia this year, in men's physique. But, before I go anywhere else, the amateur Olympia is going to India. Like, what the? So, there's a bodybuilder in India, or a very well known bodybuilder promoter, a guy called Shuru. He had a bodybuilding show called the Shuru Classic. It wasn't IFBB affiliated. Um, I think it was then IFBB affiliated over the last two, maybe three years. Um, he's a very big name in India. Um, if you don't know how to spell his name, it's S H E R U. Um, and he's held so many shows over the years and is a big follower and seems to be a big a big name within the IFBB affiliations of people. I'm really not too sure about Shuru, I've never met the dude before. Um, but he has, whatever he has done, he has managed to bring the Amateur Olympia, the Amateur Olympia to Mumbai, India. And that apparently is gonna happen this year, 2017, October 13th and October 14th from what I'm aware. So India, I've spent many years in India. It's a phenomenal country. The people are fucking super cool. The, 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 
the, the, the, what the fuck am I trying to say? Organize, the organized chaos that actually seems to work is phenomenal, but I'm just like over the moon for India managing to get like a treat of, or like a show of this caliber coming right to their doorstep in such a short space of time, like, Bodybuilding is getting huge over there, not just bodybuilding, but fitness in general is getting huge in India, by the way. So, congratulations to Shru, congratulations to India. I was m talking to a few people in India about the qualification process, and I do think that if you're going to qualify, if you're an Indian, if you are an Indian, um, or an NRI, which is a non-registered Indian, and you want to qualify for that show, I think there is actually a qualification um, step, or step two, I think you have to win, I don't know this for sure, or I'm not saying this verbatim from somebody else's words, but I think you had to have been internationally recognized, nationally recognized, won a district, state, or federation body role. You have to have won one of those in order to compete in this show. So if you're Indian, that's what I've heard, that is what I've heard. I'm not sure if that's 100%. I would love to try and get somebody from the Amateur Olympia India, maybe Shuru himself at some point, to try and clear that up. But the biggest news of them all is the Amateur Olympia has now got, or released as of yesterday, called the IFBB Elite World Ranking. I don't, I don't even know what that means because I thought the world ranking was from the Mr. Olympia downwards, but it seems, it seems, it seems as if this is an amateur event elite ranking, right? So anybody who has a pro card or anybody who's jumped up into the pro leagues, this is not for you. This is simply for the amateurs and the wannabe, sorry, I don't want to say wannabes, but the people who would like to be or obtain that pro status. So let me just read out a few things. They're going into men's classic bodybuilding, men's physique, and they're going into women's bikini. So there's only three categories that you can actually become an IFBB elite world ranked um, competitor. And But going off the IFBB website, the IFBB elite world ranking winner uh, is then in quotations, how to qualify to enter in the elite world ranking. To become an IFBB elite athlete, the competitors from men's classic bodybuilding Oh, men's classic bodybuilding, men's physique, and women's bikini must be placed amongst the, and then it goes into bullet points, top 10 at the 2017 World Championships, top six at the 2017 Continental Championships, and top five at the 2017 Elite Invitational Qualifier events, with a, 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 a notation at the end. So, Another thing on this is that I only think this is maybe open for Europeans. So everything from Ireland right over. They're also offering a lot, a lot of fucking cash, money, with rewards as well too. And I'm gonna give you exactly how it's gonna happen. So if you say our men's physique and you're a Ryan Terry in the making, or you think you wanna be a Ryan Terry, and you don't wanna do, and you're trying to do show amateur show amateur amateur show after show to try and obtain your pro card what they're actually doing right now is they're breaking it into ifbb elite rankings and points and hopefully you can see this i'll put this screen capture on the page right now thing and you'll see that what they're saying is is that the top three people who finished at the end of the year will be offered the opportunity to apply for pro cards. So let's say you finish third, second, or first, you're, all, you're automatically, automatically eligible to apply for your pro cards. And then the final awards for each ranking and division. So after the year long end, if you finish first at the end of the year in men's physique, men's classic bodybuilding, or women's bikini, they will give you 18 grand. <laughs> By the way, if anybody in America is watching this, 18,000 euros might not seem like a lot of money, and in fact, you know what, fuck it, it's fucking peanuts, don't even bother. But if you're in Europe, and all you wanna be is a bodybuilder, right? Non-stop, day after day, that's what you wanna put your life into, there's an opportunity for you to be any one of those three categories, place 
second, third, fourth, whatever it might be because it's a points accumulated system. And if you finish first at the end of the year, they're gonna give you 18 grand. That's a, lot. That's a great annual salary. And if you're in second place, they're gonna give you 10, third, sixth, fourth, fifth. And it goes right down to 10th place in the final listings. 10th place even gets 500 euros. Right? There's no prize money for the overall category top three winners at each, at each event from the ranking list. So, here's more special awards. Three time overall winners in the same ranking seating, excluding continental championships, will get an additional 15,000 euro. So what I'm guessing that means is, is that if you, over the next three years, and you're a three time overall winner of men's physique, three time overall, maybe not back to back, so not 17, 18, 19, but maybe three years back to back, they'll give you 15 grand. You don't have to finish first on every show that you do because it's a points accumulated system. You might be like a Ryan Terry who, do, who does two amateur shows a year, finishes first, right? And if you do, not in the World Championships because it only comes around once, but if you do Continental or Elite Qualifiers, however many times there are per year, we don't know as of yet. But if your points can accumulate up to more than whoever wins the World Champions who only does one or two shows a year, say 28 max, if you finish because if you do five shows and you finish on 29, you get the automatic opportunity to apply for your pro card. And by the way, fucking 18 grand, 18,000 euros by the way, which is like 20,000 UK points, I guess, and maybe 25, 25 thousand dollars, US dollars. Man, what an opportunity for amateur athletes in the Olympia right now. The amateur Olympia is holding an IFBB, a world ranking event, and it's only for amateurs, and it's gonna be happening, I actually think it's starting right now, but it's only for three uh, three categories. So you have men's, men's class of bodybuilding, men's physique, and women's bikini. Anyway, as I said, I'm gonna try and bring you cool IFBB news, and now we're even going on the amateurs as much as possible at any time that I can. Sorry I've been having coffee and my, my protein bar at the same time, I'm just super tired, I'm trying to get them gains. That's it, my name is Billy Garnon. Thank you so much for checking in the first call out. I hope to be back um, with another episode about more IFBB stuff that's coming up really, really soon. I did hear some rumors that's gonna happen. But for now, congratulations, India. If you're an amateur competitor, go on ifbb.com and check out the IFBB Elite World Rankings. It's definitely something that you probably wanna be interested in. So for now, I'm Billy Garnon. Thanks for checking out the first call out. I'll see you next time. Send Jay on the video.